Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play the Son of the Toa. Now, I know what you're thinking, it's been a long time since I last updated this Let's Play. But that was because I was... Con as I was saying, that was because I was focusing on the... the Bionicle Motion comics, which I just... well, I just finished the... the Borak comics, so now I'm getting back to this until until I can get back to the until I can get b get back to making more motion comics as I already announced in uh, the announcement video earlier but I also really want to finish this let's play because it is a great game and uh, it's it's a lot of nostalgia also that it has and uh, I do want to see this till the end now I don't remember exactly what we were Doing. I think we should go here. Okay, Matau is gone. I wonder if that's um, part of the next story thing. Let's ask Kongu here. The Turaga left a while ago. I wonder where he went. Okay, so we should probably go and find him. I do remember the last time we fought, well, Matev, and um, we fought Matev as, um, oh yeah, with uh, Kahuti, and freed him from infection. And I think we have three of the orbs now that we need. Now I have no idea where Matau is. He might not actually. Since we don't use upgrades that often, let's go for Clo Cloak of Ghosts, because I really hate random encounters. I just can't emphasize that enough. Now, okay, not here. Maybe here? Oh. Okay, there's a uh, Matoran up here. Kehudi, you're still now alive! Yeah, this is Matev, the son of the Toa. Matoran. Mm, yeah, happy high. We're on our way to Kokoro, excuse us. Actually, I'm a bit of a far traveler myself. I've never been out as out far as Kokoro, could I? It's really a personal matter. Leowar is pretty strong, Matev. He was really helpful in guiding me to Lekoro. We don't need a guide. Give him a chance. Matev, look at how I was before we set out on this quest. If it wasn't for the chance you gave me, where would I be? Where would you be? One thing is certain. You really have changed. Fine, Lewire. Luire. Come along. Right, thanks. So we're going to Kokoro then. I s yeah, okay. I, I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot. Okay. Now we remember where to go. I wonder if the Matau thing though... If I should have stayed in Lekoro for that, but... I don't think so. I think we're supposed to go here. Because this is where Kokoro is. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah, we were supposed to find that other guy, what was his name? The the Matoran East. Yeah, that that guy who helped us at some oh. Oh yeah, I know you. Oh I actually isn't there this thing we can do with the snow pick? Like yes. Oh oh we have to equip it. Alright, we'll do that. Oh, he is not armed. Okay, that is not good. Okay, let's quickly rearm him. Uh, the Calyx, probably, and the Snow Pick. Okay. Alright, just like that, we're back in Kokoro. Now, I wonder if this is gonna trigger some sort of story event. 
Okay, let's... Maybe the Trognos? Okay. Okay, they still want us to go to Bokoro, but we already did that. We're in Kokoro, but we probably need to find someone who knows more. Okay. Nope, not here. Map Maker's Hut. Yeah, no. Just him and his pictures of Voya Nui. <laughs> which are not really Voya Nui, but they might as well be. They really look like it. Okay, this is turning out to be a tad difficult. The water is so peaceful, unlike our world. Yeah. Very deep. No. Maybe here. Ah, oh, yes. Matev, Kehuri, you did it. I came to see Eover. Is he alright? I don't know. The Gakoro doctor came by and said his best hope was rest. It's all my fault. I'm not too good at helping others emotionally, but it was Eover's choice to risk his life. To stop my destruction. How many lives were lost? There is no amount of valor that can justify my actions. Shadows was resp responsible for possessing Matev. I keep trying to convince him that it's not his fault, but he won't listen. Ah. I was so self-centered. I only came here to redeem myself. This is about saving the island, not me. Why wouldn't? Why couldn't I realize? And now the rock she used me to do this, his dirty work. And if it hadn't been for Kahuti, I... I... You're not being any se less self-centered by blaming yourself. I just can't help thinking that if I had just fought a little harder, all this could have been avoided. And Eover will be fine. Don't be so hard on yourself, friend. It's I'd been a criminal for most of my life. For a long time I thought there was no redeeming my guilt. But once I realized I was no longer living that way, and that I was trying to do better, I felt better. And I am better. I guess I'm kind of the late new addition to the team, eh? I would say so. Kiroki, this is Luar. Leoar. Uh, I don't know if it's Luar or Leoar. Kiroki. Bright pleased to meet you. I was never a fan of Lakoro, but you're okay. Welcome to the team, Luar. Hold up, just when did we become a team? Don't joke with yourself. We've been a team since the start. Alright. Don't worry about Eover. Don't let the past get in the way of the present. Go. Right, back to Lakoro. Okay, and the Cloak of Ghosts has ended. So back to Lakoro. Ah, oh, so we came all this way. Just for this. I mean, it does irk me a little bit. Well, I think I am going to, first of all, equip this. Um, okay, he has the Ultra Bow. Okay, and he needs to be equipped. But once I am done with that, I think I am going to just skip ahead and... Um, Keep ahead and go to Lecoro. So uh, see you there in a second. All right. So on my way to Lecoro, I uh, actually kind of by chance found this guy hiding behind the tree. I just spotted something and figured I would check it out just in case, and it turned out to be a Matoran. Huh, I know something that you don't. Wanna hear? You're sure. Well, too bad. Um. No, well, I'll tell you anyways. Tronic. Okay, so... Is that like, um... Well, that's probably some kind of a password. Actually... Extras. Let's see here. It might be one of the codes. Yes! Okay, so we unlocked a Kanohi Kalex. Okay, so now we have two of them. And that's pretty great, because um, the Kalex is a really strong mask. So... Okay, so... The Kalex really just raises all of your... Uh, Stats. 
Let's give it to... Okay, it's not as strong as the Pakari, though. And the Ultra Bow attacks all foes. But I think he could use a Kallax. Yeah, let's do that. The Kallax is a great mask. Alright, so we found Matau. He's actually south um, from, like, Lakoro. He's at the point where he's on the path that we took to get to the dark place where Mate was being possessed. Alright, let's talk to him. Mate, I'm great happy to see you alive well. So am I, Turaga. I'm also happy pleased that you have taken bright young Luar with you. He, um, seems promising. Turaga, I assume you know of the orb here. The orb of courage. Courage. I slow came here to sight look for it myself. That won't be necessary. We can find it ourselves. Yes, yes, I smart know. I was think hoping to save you the trouble. Bright thanks, Draga. Yes, we're here now, so if you could just point the way out. Down south. I must dark warn you, son of the Toa, for the Temple of Courage is fearsome beyond anything you could think imagine. Perilous trials lurk wait there. Why are you so concerned, Turaga? We've succeeded with the other orb so far. In sad truth, I fear Matev is vulnerable. Quick seal your mind, son of Takan. I will. South, but there's a tree. The Turaga said the Temple of Courage was south, right? But then what's this tree doing here? It's pretty small, young. It should be easy to cut it way down. Why waste time cutting it down? I can just burn it. Matev, get a hold of yourself. I know you're on edge and all, but let's take time to think. Any fire here could set the entire forest on fire. Okay, okay, what do we do? Normal axes aren't cut strong enough to bring these way down. You need a Toa axe. Where do we get one of those? I'm not certain sure. There's a collector in Lekoro, though. He might own have something. So we have to go all the way back to Lekoro, then. See you guys there. We need something. Do you have a Toa axe? I do, but it's one of my most loved prized possessions. This is critical f to the fate of Matanui. What if we s gave you something else? There's not a lot much that can add up high add up high to a Toa axe. Perhaps an air sword? Sure, you don't own have an air sword. No deal. Uh how are we going to find an air sword? Do they sell it at this store? I mean, um, they do have an air sword, and I just wasted all my money on training at, in speed. Um, so we're gonna have to get some money. Until then, well, I guess. I'll just cut to when we have enough money. So finally, after grinding for who knows how long, I actually got the money. Oh, the money that we need for the air sword. Now the problem with this game is that you cannot sell anything, any of your items to these shops, so you can't make money that way. You have to grind against enemies. Um, Oh goodness, it took so long just to kill Fiku spiders just to get, get enough money for this to complete this quest. It would be a lot more enjoyable if you could sell your stuff so it would be faster, but I mean I have 99 useless potions that don't do anything in battle. Well, they do, but <laughs> they're just useless because they heal so little. I could have sold all of them. Okay. Let's buy this air... well, let's give the air sword and get the Toa Axe. Alright. Ah, and now we are broke again. How rewarding. So, uh, see you guys back at the tree. Alright, let's give this thing a try. Used to the Toa Axe. It works. Let's go. Finally, we actually get to go to the temple. But not before we run into even more wild encounters. I think if there's a if there are random encounters here, 
I'll use the cloak of ghosts again, but for now it seems fine. Okay, well, we're al almost to the end, so I think I'm seriously considering the cloak of ghosts, but okay. Beware, beware, with an H apparently, approaching the Temple of Courage. Alright, we're almost in. Let's save yet again. Wait, did... Yeah, there's a Miru Nuva over there. As far as I know, in the backstory of this game, the Toa never became Nuva, and they shouldn't even know about Nuva masks, so... Prove thy courage. Alright, we shall do... Th oh, it's Mantax. With swords. It's like Toa Mantax or something like that. <laughs> Really interesting. Now, it seems to be quite tough, but after all that grinding against the little Fikus... Yeah, okay, there you see. Or was was that... Because one of these Matoran learned a new move, I think. Or even two of them while I was grinding, I don't remember for sure. So in addition to money, I of course got a lot of experience for all of them. Which is a good thing, but I just wish I didn't have to grind so much for... For the 5,000 gold but, or the widgets. But I think we're strong enough to handle this place because of all the grinding. And also, the reason I was so poor was because I spent all my money training in agility. So <laughs> they should be quite fast. Alright, Mat have level 20 reached. Oh, that's it. Alright, let's uh, use these potions. I mean, they are useful like this, just not during battle. In battle, they are useless. Okay. We get air armor. Hmm, I wonder if... Um yes, it's pretty good. Okay, increases evasion as well. Matev can have that. And are we, like, ascending? Yeah, that was just your everyday Fiku Spiders and Kofo Yaga. Prove thy courage. Again. Oh yeah, we got this. Another one of the Toa Mantax guys. We've got this in the bag. Alright. It shouldn't be that durable. I mean, we've been hardened by thousands of Fikus and Kofoyagas and Kiwa birds. There's nothing that can bring us down. I mean, see how much damage that did? Like, not very much. <laughs> not at all. We've got this in the bag for sure. Alright. If this is all this place has to offer, we'll be out in no time. But of course, they will probably have a stronger boss too. And maybe even more of these uh, Mantax guys. Is this another one of the... This might be another one of those. Yes. Oh crap. Luard actually... Died. <laughs> well. That was something I didn't expect. Okay, we can actually revive him. That is fantastic. Maybe I got a little too confident here. I mean, the enemies are not tough. But, um, of course, when there's many of them, it's a bit difficult. Oh, okay. Okay, this is interesting. This kind of creates the impression we're flying on a ship or something, because the clouds are moving so fast, but okay. Arahi. Okay, so... So these pots contain Rahi, or probably Rahi or treasure. But I mean, it's nothing we can handle. Oh, okay. 
Got pocket shelter. Okay, that's useful. Nothing. There's a switch. Okay. So let's see what's in here. Okay, 200 widgets. That's good. Now we're not broke anymore. Okay, another switch. But I want to see what's in all of these. Rahi. Just your usual Kofo Yaga. Nothing strange about that. Got 200 widgets. Okay, so it kind of flashes out like that. Oh. 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 Alright, let's try this again. And we get a random encounter in the middle of the invisible bridge. That is both weird and annoying. Okay, let's be careful here, because we're gonna fall off otherwise. You have to wait for the bridge. Okay. I'm gonna be really careful because I really don't want to go back to the beginning of this place. Oh! Alright. Just a little more. Alright. And we are of course rewarded with a random encounter. Because why not? Courage is not reckless. Save thy game now. Yes. The sign is probably right. Also, let's check the equipment real quick. Pakari Chronicolix. Mm. Yeah, let's keep the Colix. That's pretty good. Potion. You're the only one who needs healing. There is this pocket shelter, but that would be only useful now for the mana. I think we're not gonna do that. Let's just, uh, this is it then. I dark doubt we'll be able to get back up once we go in. Let's go. Okay. What's in here? Oh, another pocket shelter. But I think we're okay. Your courage is that of a hero, but you are not worthy of me yet. Oh, just three of these guys? Seriously? I mean, the mana would be really useful because of the attacks that can do damage against multiple foes, but then again we have the altar bow, so... And as you can see I've put the Krana on Luar, so he's bers berserk. Which makes him a fast, powerful user of the Ultra Bow. So I think that's pretty good. Okay, uh, except when he misses. That's not quite as great, but... Well, that's how it goes in this game. In any case, I'm not too concerned. As long as Luar stops missing, we should probably heal him up, though. Because he's looking a little rough around the edges. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to go for the Miracle Potion. And now he has his... Alright, now we're gonna go back to Auto Battle. Because otherwise it takes forever to choose our options. And this is an active time battle system. Which I don't like, but, you know, it's been alright with the Auto Battle. and The battles are not generally too hard. There's There's been a couple that have been ri ridiculous. Like the one against Matev um, took a lot of preparation, and then there was the. Was it the Pokoro Orb? That one was really tough. But generally, it's doable. But you do have to do a lot of grinding in this game, which is not necessarily a problem, but when you have to grind against like Fikus just to get money for an item, that's that's a bit annoying. 
So that kind of grinding really feels useless. Okay, Kihuri is not looking very good. Alright, let's heal him up. Alright, we're back up to speed. We don't want Kihuri to die and miss out on the experience. But those are pretty fast monsters because it takes time to charge the the speed bar here which is um, in the RPG Maker 2003 it's very weird because the faster your opponent is the slower your own speed bar fills up which is kind of kind of a strange way to have it work but you know I never really liked it because then if you have a really fast enemy it just means that you have to wait forever to act yourself. Okay, that was pretty powerful. Let's hope. I mean, if if, if Le Luar didn't miss like 60% of the time, we would already be done with this battle, but he doesn't seem to have very good accuracy. Alright, finally. And we get some new moves and levels. Your courage is proven. You may take me. Got the Orb of Courage. And probably... Here we can... I think we can get through here. Okay, I hope we don't have... I was just about to say that I hope we have don't have random encounters here. We don't have to deal with those, but... Of course, this game has random encounters everywhere. Um, okay, you had to actually click that. We did it. That was tight tense. Do any of you ever wonder who built those temples? I wouldn't know. I'm just glad we've got our fourth orb. Which way should we go now? Matev, quick follow. What's going on, Matoran? Precious time to quick answer. The Rakshi has entered Lekoro. What? Quick come. Okay, so it seems there's trouble in Lekoro, however, I think we're gonna leave that off to the next episode, because we've already done quite a few things here, uh, done some meager quests, and uh, finally got ourselves the fourth orb. So next time on Son of the Toa, we're gonna see what's going on in Lekoro, and what Shadows, the Rakshi, is uh, up to. So until then, see you guys later!